Hi, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'll show you how to create this beautiful Pinterest-inspired canopy using Dollar Tree items. Well, now that that has been said, let's get started. I decided to create a new series on these Dollar Tree videos in which you DM me any Pinterest picture that you like and I will try to recreate it using Dollar Tree items. If you're interested in participating, just follow me on Instagram and DM me there. My link and username is down below. Now for the first project, what you will need is some paper. And the first thing you want to do is to sketch a very large star. After, you just want to cut it. And the only piece of paper that will be big enough to create such a big star is probably wrapping paper. So it will fold weirdly, so make sure to put some weight on each leg of the star so it can become more manageable. While that's resting there, I will show you a couple of options that Dollar Tree has. Now they carry these cotton gray pillow covers, and to my surprise they also carry this beautiful satin one that almost perfectly matches with my bed. I was shook. But for this project I decided to go with the cotton gray one instead. Now the first thing you want to do is to reverse it. Once that is done, you want to take your star paper and you want to sketch it and cut it. Once your star is cut, you have a couple of options. You can either use fabric glue to glue it in place or you can sew it. Now, you also have two options when sewing. You can do it by hand or you can use a sewing machine. Regardless of what you decide to do, one thing I do recommend is for you to stitch the outline of the star very roughly and this is only to secure the fabric in place so it doesn't move around when you finally decide to sew it in place. One thing to keep in mind when doing the stitching is to leave a little gap without sewing and that is for you to insert the tuffing inside. Now, if you have a sewing machine, I highly recommend you using it, but I know that a lot of people don't have that option, so you will have to stitch it by hand. I did this entire star by hand to prove to you that it is possible. It's just a little time consuming. Once your star is fully sewn, you want to revert it back and you want to use a sharp item to really enforce the shape of the legs before stuffing them. Now, I picked this Dollar Tree pillow, but if you can't find them, you can also use stuffed animals. And basically, you just want to fill in the shape. Before you fill the middle, make sure to stuff each leg before doing it. Once everything is in place, you just want to take a needle and thread and close the gap that you were using. And then you just want to fluff it up to reinforce its shape. And once that is done, these are the final results. I absolutely love how this project turned out. Most of the Pinterest pictures that I took as inspiration had a starch shaped pillow. So this is definitely a great compliment for this entire look. Next, you'll need a hula hoop. Now, for this project, I selected the medium size one. They carry three different sizes. And the first thing that you want to do is to extract the sticker. Once that's done, you can go ahead and spray paint it with a silver or gray color. Dollar Tree carries these silver shower curtains and the first thing that you want to do, you want to select one and you want to fold it so you can cut it. Now the way that you will fold this specific one is you want to take that band from the top part where you would put the shower rings and you want to fold it with the bottom part. Like so. Once that is neatly folded, you want to go ahead and cut it in half. 
The reason we are doing this is because a shower curtain is not long enough to fall from the ceiling to the floor. So if you want that beautiful falling effect, you will have to make the typical shower curtain longer. And that's exactly why we did this. We cut this piece to add it to the other two shower curtains. Now, once that piece is cut, you want to move on to the main shower curtain and you will also have to cut it. You will understand later on. So you will also need to fold this one and the way that you will be folding this one is instead of taking that ring band from the top and folding it to the bottom, you want to fold it on itself. Once that is neatly folded, you want to cut it in half. You will have to repeat this process with the other shower curtain as well. Once your panels have been created, set the other ones aside and now we can create the rod pocket. First you want to fold it and you want to take a measuring tape and you want to measure 6 inches from the fold. Once all the sides are 6 inches long, you want then to fold it backwards to create a 3 inch fold. And you want to add glue to the edge and glue it down. Once that is done, use that ring band as a reference and you want to fold it upwards, add a stripe of glue besides it, and then you want to glue it in place. Once the top portion is created, we now want to add the part that we cut from the beginning to the bottom so it becomes longer. Make sure that is the perfect fit and width. The first thing that you want to do is to cut the ring band from this additional part. Once that is done, the second thing that you will have to do is to cut it in half so it fits this panel. Once cut, set the other piece aside and now you can glue it in place. Once everything is glued, set it aside and you want to repeat this process to all four panels and let them dry. Back to the hula hoop, you want to find the amending gap and you want to open it. Once opened and all your shower curtains are dried, that is when you want to feed them to it. Once all the curtains are in place, close it and make sure to cover the gap with them. Now the reason that we created those two parallel lines when creating the fold is because it creates this beautiful ruffle effect that does all the difference to the eye. In order to hang it from the ceiling, we will use ribbon and first you want to cut four equal parts and you want to burn the edges to seal them. Now this is the reason why we created four panels, it's because in between those gaps that's where you will place the ribbon to hang it from the ceiling. You want to do this to each gap and then you want to connect each ribbon and create a top knot so you can hang it in place. Now I hung this on my living room because my living room has gray walls and I really wanted you to see how this would look on a gray room and I think it looks absolutely beautiful. I do have to admit that it looks very busy on my living room but just keep in mind that I did this for the sake of this video. Now in every Pinterest picture that I've seen, it has some sort of star banner so I found these on the party section of Dollar Tree and I will show you how to create the most beautiful complementary pink for the gray of the curtains. Basically, you want to take a large body of white, then you want to add a little bit of pink. After, you want to add a little bit of purple or burgundy red to have a more violet undertone. And you can also use a bluish gray to soften the look. 
Finally, you want to use a little bit of black to make the color deeper and to also give it a more smoky effect. Once the color is created, you want to paint the star and while the paint is still wet, you want to gently sprinkle a little bit of glitter to add that wet and shimmery effect to the star. And you want to do this to each individual star. Once all the stars are dry, they do have a back side to them and because the banner keeps moving, it might appear. So what I decided to do, it's already white, I didn't want to paint it. But what I did instead is to add a coat of glue and then I gently sprinkle glitter so in case they show, it does look beautiful as well. After I selected this gray ribbon from Dollar Tree, I think it's around 6 or 7 feet. And I just placed the stars a little bit more apart from each other to fully cover the entire ribbon. Once everything was in place, these are the final results. Can you believe that these are made with Dollar Tree items? I am so happy with the results. This is perfect for a nursery, this is perfect for a girl's bedroom, or even for a teenage bedroom if you're mindful of your stylistic choices. I added fairy lights on mine for a more whimsical touch. These are remote control operated. I will leave the link for them down below. And sincerely, I am just very pleased with this project, especially because I know a lot of you are going to find it useful, and that makes me happy. Really quick, don't forget to subscribe to my sister and my bunny's channel, I will leave these links down below. Also visit my online boutique and don't forget to follow me on Instagram to stay in touch. Well now that that has been said once again, thank you so much for stopping by, may God bless you, and 